is your Impact Main Event, and it's a six-man tag team matchup about to make his way to the ring. From the Serengeti, he is the Alpha Male, Monty Brown. He is six feet, two inches tall. He is 267 pounds, and he's a former National Football League linebacker, a veteran of two Super Bowls with the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills, and he's the master of the pounce. His tag team partner, accompanied to the ring by James Mitchell. He is the six foot nine monster. This is a man. I'll tell you, there he is, 350 pounds, led by James Mitchell. And you know what? Since James Mitchell has aligned himself with the monster abyss, you've seen a focus on him that we haven't seen in his tenure here at TNA. And you saw earlier that James Mitchell let Jeff Jarrett know the that this also wants a title shot down the road.
Masters Ball. Starting at midnight, no food, no water, not even the light of day. They're going to be locked in four separate rooms, and then they're going to be turned loose and allowed to bring weapons to the ring. They're encouraged to use them. Anything goes tomorrow, just one of the big matches at Bound for Glory as Hardy drops the alpha male with the clothesline. I'll tell you what, Jeff Hardy's so... You can just see how renewed he is, how, how aggressive he's become, and oh my gosh, and you can see the power of Bonnie Brown. He can equalize anything that quickly. Hardy needs to get a tag in here to either AJ Styles or Lance Hoyt, or this might be academic. Hardy in no man's land. On the wrong side of the ring, as we see the alpha male cut off the ring, put in the tag for the reigning NWA World Heavyweight Championship, Jared. Oh, what a drop kick by Jared right on the button. Jared to defend the title tomorrow at Bound for Glory against Big Kevin Nash. How about the special enforcer, Tino Ortiz, the Huntington Beach bad boy special referee? Well, you're going to have to have that because the hurt this. Jeff Jarrett has been known to cheat from time to time. Tino Ortiz is going to be there to keep things fair. But you saw that beautiful drop kick by Jared. Think about this. He's going to have to make that drop kick about three feet higher tomorrow night when he takes on Kevin Nash. Pure, raw power and strength of the monster abyss. Scooping a slam on Hardy. Went for the leg drop. He committed himself just one way, and that was to crash as Hardy was able to move out of the way at the last second. And he gets the tag in, and here comes the X Division title holder, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and he's on fire. Well, a lot of people look at this and say there's no way a man of this size can handle the monster abyss. But you don't know the phenomenal AJ Styles. These guys have been so
hits AJ, makes the tag into the Monster Abyss, and he opened up the side of AJ's body so that Abyss could attack the ribcage. I mean, think about the damage that this is doing to AJ Styles for tomorrow night. Who's got Iron Man 2? And bound for glory. That's a 30-minute match. Oh, man, but if anybody can handle it, it's this guy. But, man, these are absolutely vicious blows right there by Abyss. In addition to that, for the X Division title, Daniels and Styles, most balls in 30 minutes wins. It's the return of Ultimate X, but here comes the best. He's got to get a tag, if not just for his own survival. Just for the fact that he's got to defend the X Division title belt tomorrow. Isn't it ironic? We sat here and wondered how this team would exist. This trio of the NWA Championship here, the Alpha Male, Monty Brown, and the Monster Abyss. And they've been working like a well oiled machine as AJ tries to mount it to the back. Oh, here he goes. And no! Oh, my God! That one. I mean, they just spun each other around as they hit. You can see Jeff Hardy right there in the toy clap in their hands, trying to get AJ Styles to their feet, to his feet, to come over there and tag one of them. Sheriff trying to get to his corner. AJ's dazed as well. He tagged both of them. Double team possibly upcoming from a miss and Monty Brown. Oh, Monty Brown, I think. They went for the double clothesline. AJ avoids the contact. Went airborne, but they caught him in mid move. But look at that. He gets the tag team. The, the Hoyt and Hardy. Referee Andrew Thomas. Get the hell out of the way. Turn him loose. It is six man mayhem. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it. This has just become a brawl. This has just become a fight. Oh, if you see Hardy and Hoyt, let him have it. And, oh, man. Big Lance. to Big Lance from Big D from Dallas, Texas. Big boot up into the air. Outside, Abyss hooked the leg. I'll tell you what, you just gotta have ice in the back of your head. It's everybody is everywhere. Oh, it's just become a problem. AJ said, wait a minute, roll up, it looks like Jeff's got it. Is he gonna go for the figure four? Oh, look at how AJ is right himself out of there and hits it with the kick to the back of the head. Jared telegraphed the figure four. Styles hit the end to Gary. No. There's the suplex with extra snap by the phenomenal AJ Styles. Could he be going for the spiral tap right here? I think that's the move. If he does, you know it landed. Just the Daniels. Daniels. Christopher Daniels coming in. Oh, that was just wrong. Fallen Angel, you're right. I'm sure he was going to go for the spiral tap. Jared's going to go for the stroke. He's setting him up right here.
has hit the ring. And now, and you see Rhino, he's one-fourth of the Monsters Ball match tomorrow at Bound for Glory. Sabu, suicide dive out to the floor of the abyss. They're going to be a part of Monsters Ball. AJ still being beaten down by Danielson. Here comes Kevin Nash, the man that challenged Jared for the title. Oh my God, you don't want to miss it. It's tomorrow. It's Bound for Glory. We'll see ya.